Hey guys, what's up? I uh, I know it's been a while. I've been really busy at work, and I uh, I don't know when I'll get a chance to do another uh, long video like this. But uh, today I have a best of three for you uh, between Yazoo yeah, Fifty Five and Rax. So let's get into it. And at the bottom here we've got Yazoo yeah, as the Thousand Suns, going a standard build, a barracks and a a gen. Going for the eco play. And at the top here at the turn we have Rax doing a similar build. Now the cool things about these Thousand Suns, they're builders. When they put down a building and they touch it, the building will build by itself. So that gives the you know the builders a chance to you know put a building down and then go cap some points, cap them up. It's a very strong start for uh Thousand Suns. Very quick map control. You don't have to wait for any, any units to be trained. Looks like Rax is going to get the Tower Commander. Maybe he's going to go for some Builder Harassment. Huh, almost a misclick from Yazoo there. Nearly missed that. Looks like the Tau Commander's going to come down. Breeze up some Thrall Wizards. And yeah, there he goes. Gonna shoot down one there, Captain. These uh, screamers gonna come up, try and chase away this uh, tower commander. He gets one builder. Will he get the other one? It's unlikely, but oh, it was close. He should have popped that one. If he had popped, he would have got it. Yazoo would have been out of a relic for a bit. Would have got a sort clawed out. He's gonna give chase to this tower commander alongside with the screamers. Vrax just mailing the Screamers. I suppose he doesn't see this. Doesn't want to do that. He's not going to win that fight. Decides to dip. Yeah, so you're going to return the harassment. He's going to get a decap on that relic there. <clears throat> it's going to be quite annoying for Vrax. Rex is going to try and stop this, and again, doesn't pop for some reason. I know he hasn't popped yet. He could have stopped that decap very easily. He just didn't. Got the Sword Clawed bashing that listen post at the front. More Screamers incoming. Going to be in for the harass. We've got Fire Warriors out. Fire Warriors going to shoot, but the uh, Sword Clawed says no, and he bats them away. Fire was turned back to shoot these uh, screamers at the back of the base. Tau Commander in support as well. These screamers are trying to go for this uh, builder. I think they killed one already. But we will see a second squad of fire warriors very soon. That's a whole squad of screamers just dead. That is unfortunate. Yazoo's got to pull out here. That's a loss on Yazoo's part. Looks like Vrax wins that engagement. Vrax will go for the decap on his own relic. Looks like these Thrall Wizards are going to go for the crit. We've got three squads of uh, Fire Roarers alongside with Tau Commander. Looks like Yazoo went to the summoner path. Avoiding the warlock path in one way or another. Perhaps he doesn't know about it or he just wants to play fairly.
Looks like these screamers will chase these uh, Tau Fire Warriors back into their base. We've got some LP2 shooting at screamers. We've got more Fire Warriors shooting at screamers. You know, this is this is really not in the position you want to be in. This might be a squad wipe. It's going to be close. It looks like one gets away, but low morale. This spawn here is still here. A lot of commitment from Yazoo, and it's just not paying off. But it does look like Yazoo is tier 2. I can see the Occult Forge being built over there. Getting up his, uh, his own LP2s. Rex is going to go for the decap on that middle crit. Pushing up with his uh, small army. Yezu uh, wards them off for a little while. But he doesn't want to contend with that fire warrior range. The range on that LP2 is amazing though. Sort Claude, looking a little low on health, about halfway. His health gen managed to just take him out of uh, yellow health. We've got a thermal gen being built there. And two uh, stealth seats shooting at it. These screamers are just recuperating. Yes, yeah, he's just recuperating. Wants to build up his armor. We've got some Chosen out. We need more than Chosen to take on three squads of Fire Warriors. Those Screamers. Ah, we've got a Hellblade. That's going to clean up these uh, Fire Warriors nicely. Rax needs to go back. I don't even know why he overcommitted to that spot. He should have stayed outside. Better chance to run. Still do damage. Bit of a misplacement there. He sends a builder. He doesn't want to build that thermo gen though. Yeah, Zoo can take out that builder if he sees it, but he's going for the tail commander. God, that's such good damage to infantry. And we're back to square run again. All well, these chosen here, I think they're going to kill this stealth suit squad. No contestion. Looks like Yazoo's yeah, going to take uh, Rax off, take and hold victory. Got two Hellblades now. We've got tier 2 for Vrax though, we've got the uh, stealth suit leaders, they're going to help if he reinforces those stealth suits and gives them their fusion blasters that uh, those, hell, those uh, hell blades won't really uh, have much of a chance but we do have the chosen coming in here separates the fire warriors, he's going in range, that's one thing you don't ever do with Tau Not sure why he's ranging the listening post either. He's going in. I think he's after the, the stealth suits. We've got a broadside battle suit here. Gotta focus down that broadside. If that, if that um, you know, if he implants, that's it. That's going to be so much damage. He doesn't focus it down. He's focusing the barracks. He's not paying attention. And here we go. This might be the death of the Chosen. He's got to get out. 
he loses that chosen squad, that's a big loss. But we've got more Hellblaze coming up. That Hellblaze is kind of sitting there. Rex putting all his gens in the back. I'm not sure putting them all in one spot's the best play. If you spread them out, you give the others chance. You know, you give others time before they're destroyed. But if you put them all at once, you're just going to be able to kill one after the other so quickly. No, the Frax has pushed Yazoo back for now. He's gonna destroy this listening post, the Silver Spire. Looks like we're gonna get a vehicle beacon down there. He's chosen to come up here, wanted to kill these uh, stealth suits. But in terms of that, uh, yeah, so he doesn't really have that much to go on. He's got a squad of screamers just, you know, gathering up their strength again. This listen post will go down. Will Vrax manage to decap it? I don't know. He's got to get that stealth suit out of there. Stealth suits at this point of the game are, are kind of vital. Your best source of anti vehicle. But it looks like Rex is going to be getting something out of his vehicle beacon. Probably a Barracuda, that's the best play here. We've got the Screamers back in action. They're going to jump, tangle up these fire warriors. Chosen going to join them. The Hellblade's getting in the action as well. The Broadside coming back in. Going to shoot these guys in the back and try to defend as best as possible. The Pathfinders get their ability off on the Chosen. If those Screamers don't get it, those Screamers are going to die. He's got to get those Chosen out of there. They're his best unit at the minute. The Barracuda's out. Broadside shooting into these chosen. The firewalls also shooting into these chosen. That might be a squad loss. Uh, he's tier three though. He's got his tier three building up. Oh man, these chosen are not looking good. That is a big loss for for Yazoo. Such a big loss. This Hellblaze has been sitting there this whole time. I think it's stuck. It doesn't. It seems to want to go away, but it, it can't. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a big loss for Yazoo. Frack's going to take Yazoo off, taken hold. Going to push back with his own aggression. We've got another Hellblade to counter, but that's not going to take on these two Barracudas. He needs more than that. Yazoo is just desperate to get Vrax off from. Wow. Going down for the Dark Library. Yazoo goes in. Oh, he should have waited for that second one. He had so much better chance. But he's going to lose that Hellblade. Even with the, with the Thrall was healing it. But Vrax loses a Barracuda in return. Okay, we've got tier 3 coming for Vrax. Really nice plays. A mutated sorcerer. But it's going to get gunned down. He's just sending it out on his own. That's not what you do against Tau. Got a lesser spawn. I'm trying to here munch the butts of these fire warriors. But again, because it's on its own, it's going to die quickly. More Chosen. That's the second squad of Chosen we've seen. Oh, you can't send them in. But he's going to do it anyway. 
Seems to have uh, done something to the fire. I think that's a stun. He misused that. I think uh, he doesn't know entirely what he's doing with uh, Thousand Sons. But these Chosen are just going to die again. You know, they take the morale off, but... Seems we've got a, a squad of mutated. They're going to come in. He loses one. He should have waited for the mutated, and then he would have had much a better chance at dealing with these fire warriors. Okay, we also got Terminators. If Yasuo had just waited a little bit, then um, he would be able to handle this, but you, like I said, you can't just keep sending one thing after the other. That's, that's not how... Tao will beat that very easily. Got a Krook Shaping Center getting built there. Terminators are going to come in the fold. Got a Venerable Dreadnought with Plasma. That might help out a little bit. If it's anything like the other races with Plasma Dread. And given that this is... I don't know why he's going to melee. No, use the plasma, man. It seems a little pointless getting plasma. But this dreadnoughts are eating up shots. That's what uh, venerable dreadnoughts are really good for. Tanking. So good. Yeah, I think going to melee was a mistake with that Dreadnought. Ah, but these Terminators have uh, phased walked. Not very far. I think mean, it's more of a get out thing, not a get in. He's got to get the upgrades for these Terminators. He's got to get the big cannons. Ah, we've got a new commander here. Get to see that in play in a minute. Another mutated sorcerer coming out. Sork Lord getting out another spawn. Just buying precious minutes. A lot of dead fire warriors here. It's turned out well. This is definitely Yazoo's engagement. He needs this to win. Just not focus down the fire warriors. Those are his biggest problem. He needs anti vehicle as well. Get some, get some pink horrors down. But that venerable dreadnought is dead. He's got crew hounds in the field from from Vrax. Very good choice. What you can do with those? So say a chosen's chasing off a uh, squad of fire warriors. Send those hounds in the back, and if the Chosen decide to fight the crew hounds, run the way of the crew hounds and shoot the Chosen in the back with the fire warriors. It's a very good strat. You got another squad of Chosen there. Rex doing very well to keep his fire warriors alive. It's extremely hard when you have a lot of melee units just chasing off. You gotta micro each and every individual squad of fire warriors. If Rex gets some LP3s, then uh, he's gonna be in some really good positions. Really good defensive structure with the LP3s for Tails. <clears throat> But he does chase off these uh these mutated. Crew hound going for uh they want to sniff what's up ahead. I wouldn't fight the mutated with those, but again he's ranging tail, that's not what you want to do. Unless you've got those cannons. But he's ranging them with the chosen. Such a big mistake. Looks like that Crook Hounds uh, got beat up pretty badly. 
Still got these stealth suits just being really annoying, doing what stealth suits are supposed to do, just infiltrate and destroy. He just doesn't have any anti-vehicle for these barracudas though. It's just not enough. Looks like Rex lost his stealth suit there. Pathfinder's abilities popped off on the Terminators. But only the Barracuda's shooting the Terminators. I think there's a bit of a waste in the ability there. These Chosen are chasing down this broadside. Don't want that to implant again. That would be bad news. And these Terminators are going to just die. Such a big loss. He's still got the mutated and he's still got the chosen, but not for long. He needs to get out. We've got more crew hounds coming up here. A mutated sorcerer dealing with these uh, tail stale suits. They got detection. Those tail stale suits run oh, on little health though. Four. That was a close one. Looks like he's also built. Uh, yeah, so he's building another thermogen. Getting rid of these chosen. He's gonna lose half of them here. It's not looking good for Yezu right now. He's got a third barracuda. Fire is coming down in the middle to shoot these chosen. Try and get rid of them for good. Definitely going to get some. Got another venerable dreadnought. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Zoo is not in the best spot here. Rex, come down. We've got a LAS cannon on the Venerable Dreadnought. Okay, that should clear this. Is it doing any damage? Alright, it's, it's, it's shooting the Fire Warriors. What are, you, what are you doing? Okay, that's a bit of a silly decision, but. Okay, now it's shooting the Barracuda. It doesn't look like it's doing any damage. Ah, oh, but it got stunned. It got stunned by the uh, the Lord Stealth Suit. These Barracudas are just a nightmare for Yazoo. All you need is t two, three squads, maybe even, maybe just two, of, uh, of pink horrors, and they will clear the skies of those Barracudas, man. That's another stun on the Venerable Dreadnought, though. That has to be infuriating. For uh, Yazoo. These mutated are going back. They're getting pretty beat up. Honestly, if, if Yazoo can just get rid of those Barracudas, he can win the game. Rax doesn't have much of an army in terms of those pink horrors there. He doesn't have too much of an army in terms of, you know, fire warriors. He's got, what, three squads? A chosen, a terminator squad. And, uh, and, um, mutated. That's all you really need. And then the rest, just pink horrors. I mean, it's too late now, though. You've got them way too late. Okay, we've got Crute Hounds in action here. So much going on. These crew hounds are just standing there. Oh, it does look like they get the stun on those. Um, those shows got the stun on the fire warriors. Those mutate are going to clean them up. That is not good for Rax. Although in turn he's going to take out some eco. 
from Yazoo with his Barracudas. One's on red health. If he, uh, if he just got the, the, the pink horrors, he would have been in a so much better position. Okay, we got the um, the Pathfinder. Another stun on the... on the. Oh, he should have focused them. He would have done so much more damage. They went away. He just kept spamming click. They're going to do damage, though. But they will get away. Oh. We've got a Predator on the field. Takes out one Barracuda. Might take out two Barracuda if they don't get out of there. Rax needs to see this. He does see this. He gets it out of there. Okay, we've got some kind of anti-vehicle on the field for Yazoo now. Looks like we've got some Narlock Riders, though, in the mix, fighting the Chosen. The Chosen will win that just because they outnumber them, but if he gets more... Ugh. Another... Is that another Venerable, or is that the same one? I think it's the same one. And again, these Chosen, they're not doing any damage because they lose morale. They lose morale to these Barracudas. That's the problem. Again, with the Laz Cannon with its silly damage. I'm not sure what that's about. It should be doing way more damage. It should take at least quarter of the Barracuda's health with Laz Cannon. Such, so silly. But you've got a Predator here. Again, he's, focus he's focusing the Firework. He needs to focus the Barracudas. And those Barracudas will just take out that Pred. That Predator doesn't stand a chance. Again, I think that's another squad of Narlock Riders dead to the Chosen. We got another predator on the field. We got stealth suits in the back taking out their thermogen. Three barracudas taking on these chosen, backing up. Uh, they're backed up by uh, two firewire squads. We got a path final squad in the mix, popping off his ability on these chosen. These chosen might go down again. This is really bad. Yeah, these chosen are dead. They might get out. In case of Rax didn't focus them, that was a mistake on his part. Oh, never mind. He goes back to them. Again, just take that predator out and focus them. Focus it on the on the barracudas. One's already low health. And Rax is uh, floating quite a bit of rack right now. They go back to these builders. Uh, I see Rax wants to win by um, take and hold. He's come close. He's got a minute and 20 seconds left. We've got more Terminators on the field. But again, he's just sending them in on his own. He's done it a lot and it's cost him. It really cost him. We got another Hellblade. That's gonna get taken out. The Barracudas might die here. But not before finishing that Hellblade off. Rex really appreciating the use of the Barracudas. Doesn't use Skyray missiles, those are also really good. I don't know if he's uh went the right path for the hammerheads. That predator's down. There's a second predator out already. I think that's actually the fourth, or the third, that we've seen. The broadside comes down. It's going to help defend the middle here. Okay, these stealth suits are shooting into the back of this predator. Predator moves. Seems to move out of the range of the stealth suits. 
but take and hold victory it is. A very good game. Mistakes were made on both sides. Yazoo really should have sent his army in force. But, um... No, a very, a very nice game. Okay, game number two. At the bottom of Blood River, we have Rax as the Dark Elder going two Mandrakes and a Dark Foundry. And at the top, we have Yazoo as the Eldar going two Guardians, Fleet of Foot, and another Builder. And Rax doesn't like Eldar. I assume it's something to do with the Banshees. If you are from the Discord and uh, you see Rax a lot, often he talks about the Howling Banshees. But a pretty standard build from both. I expect we'll see something like Hellions leading into bikes, or maybe he'll just bike rush. Bike, uh, if um, Yazoo does get Howling Banshees, bikes is the only option. There is no other option other than bikes. Okay, we got rangers coming in. Looks like they're going to go for that decap. Don't know if they're going to get it. Oh no, you should have built it on that one. Ah. Uh. Looks like these rangers are going to shoot down this builder, this poor torture slave. Got Hellions capping. Now, Vrax really needs to wait until he gets like two bikes um, before he pops off his uh, infiltr um, reveal. Uh, you know what I mean? Reveal spell. Two, three bikes is all he needs. Because then he would actually get some kills. Don't tell me he's going to do it. Oh no, Rax. You just should have waited. I know he wanted to save his builder, but that builder was dead. There's nothing he could have done about that. He really should have waited. He would have at least got maybe two kills on that squad. Okay, but from the top, we've got some Howling Banshees. And you're about to see why so many of the players hate the Howling Banshees. We've got a second bike on the field. But look at that knockback. It's ridiculous. On tier 1. Anything to do with knockback on tier 1 I think is just preposterous. I get those. To be fair... Vrax might not have known he was going to go Hell and Banshees. But the Hellions were not a good choice. And if he micros his bites, he can take these Hell and Banshees down. There's one dead already. You just got to micro your bikes well enough. He's got to send that bike back, but he doesn't. That bike's dead. It's too late. You've got to send them back. Hit and run. That's what you gotta do with Banshees, man. Hit and run. Okay, we've got two gens here from Vrax, though. Really wanting that, um, that bike spam. And these, these Banshees do good eco structure damage. They're gonna take that, uh, gen down pretty quickly. Rax is going to shoot them in the back, going to get a couple kills. Going to jump in with his Hellions, that's really not a good idea. That's the third bike.
And, uh, yeah. Rex. Had enough of the knockback. He's not microing his bikes, though. Gotta get them away. Hit and run. Okay, these Helen Banch is going to take down that second gen. This is not looking good with Rex right now. He's got a homunculus out, though. He's got the torch out down. That will slow these, uh... He's going after the rangers. You have an opportunity here, okay? Use the bike to shoot down the banshees. Have the Hellions and the homunculus chase down the rangers. Just put them on attack stance. They'll chase the, the rangers to no ends and then micro the bikes. Why, why did you get a second squad of Hellions? Well, why? <laughs> They're not effective, but you've just got another one anyway. Okay, we've got a Slave Chamber, so he's got his pop-up. His pop-cap. I swear, if Rax, if Rax gets the chains, if he doesn't get the Soul Essence one, I will be furious. He's using Raid on the Hellions. You literally just might as well have got more bikes with that. But these are. Uh, he's gonna chase these rain, uh, these guardians off before they are uh, thrown back by their turret and the defensive LP two. Oh, he did it as well, Rax. I'm so angry at you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, is it, this is not good for Rax at the minute. He's chasing the rangers with the bikes. He's, this is not what he wants to do. The rangers are the least of his problems right now. Bike spam, bike spam. That's all you got to do. That's how you win this engagement. they got to go back. Rax is getting beat up pretty hard in this, in this engagement. Yazoo is, is just holding on with a squad of rangers and, a, and one Helen Bounty squad. Yeah, he's got guardians, but those are for capping. They don't count. Rax is building up his eco again with another two gens to replace the ones he lost. I'm still angry about that torture. Uh, yeah, that slave chamber. That makes me mad. Anyone who does that just doesn't deserve the satisfaction of playing Dark Eldar. Rax trying his best to do some eco damage, but he just, he just can't. He needs to kill those Helen Bounties first. And, uh, yeah, Zoo's actually tier 2. We've got a support portal going down. The Rangers are still in force, the Banshees are still in force. This is looking pretty brutal. We got everything in the mix. These Helen Banshees just knocking back the uh, the Helens constantly. Those Hellions can't get in. He's using the range on them. That's it. The, the range is 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 not good. Should have just gone more bikes. But that platform, that support platform, man. That's going to wipe out any bikes he has. He's got to get out of there. Loses another bike to it. Nah. He's, like, he's got two more idling. Going to try for the relic. That's his best choice. Again, okay, shooting these banshees down. Hit and run. That's how you need to play this. Spread your bikes out as well. But we've got a grab tank. That's going to clear the bikes out as well. I think Rax is still tier 1. He might have gone tier 2.
Put Sarah all over slave chamber. Hopefully he doesn't make the same mistake with the first one. And just using the range on the Hellions. I, I don't understand that. It's it's not really doing anything. But that grav tank's gonna kill these bikes fairly quickly. A torture amps down, those are uh, I mean it just gets one shot by the grav tank. He's throwing everything he has at those uh howling banshees though. Everything he has. He's got an LP2. Run the Howling Banshees around the LP2. It's your best chance. If he's tier 2, he needs to get the uh, Bright Lance Tower for the LP and take try and take care of that uh, Grav Tank. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Similar to what I said earlier. And uh, Rax takes that as a brag. It's not a brag. And we got swooping hawks coming in. Those, these are deadly. They kill just about anything. Weak in health. So if you got something like snipers, then they can go down. If you got anything stealthed. And they'll die quickly, but um, yeah, th those are brutal. Got two. I think he's gonna go for the full three. We got scourges on the field. If he gets the heat lances, he's gonna be able to take on those grav tanks. But he's gotta jump. He's gotta jump away. He's just. Part of the problem here is Vrax isn't really paying attention to a lot of his stuff. Like, just jump. Just use the jump. Got raiders coming in here. Yeah, he's got the heat lances. That's good. Are they called heat lances? What are they called? Haywire, but... Oh, okay. Ah, but here, here are the here are the swooping hawks. Just gonna annihilate everything. And this looks like game here. Rex just does not have anything to counter those swooping hawks. What what's these uh see the scourges then they're, they're not really good examples of the damage these things can do because scourges are really squishy. But you'll see the Hellions, I'm sure. And Va Rax looks like he's just put his hands up and given up. And Rax is fairly bottled up here. Look at that damage. Vax tries to use the uh, the jump on the raider. He does break the morale, but he doesn't really, you know, knock them back or anything. The rat scores a GG. Yeah, I would have called it GG a long time ago. 
Racks held on that. I gotta respect that. And these racks just just get deleted. There's no there's no chance at all. The interesting thing about them is that they're OP. So, so much damage to everything. Well, <laughs> I mean, you're you're describing scourges. I mean, they're better than scourges, but you are also describing scourges. You get warp spiders as well, though. They're not comparable, not remotely. It's not comparable to this. No, you can't have both. No. It's one or the other, but it's not comparable. These are clearly superior. They have less health than warp spiders, and that's it. In every other regard, they're better. They're not nothing like warp spiders. Not even weaker. Not true at all. Anyway, that is game number two. Okay, in the third game, here we go. At the top of Fatimorga, we have Yazoo as the Emperor's Children. Going a pleasure slave. Two pleasure cultists and a Tanashi Lord. At the bottom, we've got the Orcs as Vrax. Or is that vice versa? Three Slugger Boys and one Gretchen. It's going for a quick map grab. It's got one The Boys Hut, one Gen. Yazoo, it's got one gen. Pleasure conduit. Pretty standard builds from both. Looks like Rack is getting that big mech out. Early harassment's always good. I expect to see a Sinesha Lord. There's the big boy. Big Shrekky boy. Unless your lord's out. Kinkiest man alive. Looks like the big mech and the uh, Snatch lords are going to come down and meet. Rax does not want that. He's definitely seen it. But Snatchy Sir Lord says, Walter, put your dick away, Walter. And the big mech goes back. He could have easily jumped that big mech into his base. Done some damage to some gens, some builders maybe. Probably should have done that, but... It's too late now. Look at the range damage. On that Slaneshi Lord. Just on moving. He's got to get that big mech out of there. People often overestimate the big mech. He thinks he wins every engagement. Not even true. He actually loses most engagements with heroes. There's a hand of fall, a very small handful that he wins against. He's got big damage, but little health. And Yazoo baits the big mech, get more damage. He garrisons it in the listen post. Doesn't actually have any LP2s, so yeah, big mech could um 
could easily harass that. Vrax is trying desperately to whack this uh, Sinatia Lord off. We've got Noise Marines joining the fight here. Big Mech needs to jump away. Garen's is it again. He's got a pile of guns being built there. I expect to see some uh, big guns. you got to jump that, that big mech. you got to. And those uh, noise marines actually win the melee against the sluggers. Their melee is really good. In terms of them being a range. Uh, mainly just a range unit. Nope, their melee is really good. You could even melee the listening posts and they'll go down the fast. They'll go down so fast. Put them in melee. It looks like he does that. Yeah. <laughs> They're no joke, man. You play these noise marines right, and uh, they're going to be really hard to fight against. We've got some shooter boys out there. Got a war banner. Again, his second war banner. Bring him to 35 pop. Tier 1.5. You can get the storm boys then. Is he selling his army up there for I don't know why. A misclick maybe. You need to bottle up orcs before they uh, get out of hand for you. But here we go. Yeah, you don't wanna face those noise marines with just one squad of shooter boys. You don't wanna melee them. But noise marines are super squishy. Their combat drugs save them, but uh, they're not tanky at all. They are like bread. And uh, yeah, Zoo just doing really well to keep uh, orcs off this relic. Yeah. Empress children are very anti orc. But we do got some big guns. Those will just absolutely shred these noise marines. He needs to send those back. Big damage coming off right now. Finally gets a hold of his relic. He has he needs to recuperate. Rax needs to keep pushing. He's got the Storm Boys out. He never actually finished that uh, crit with that downward Slugger Boys there. Yeah. The only thing saving these Noise Marines right now are the combat drugs. But they, they, they really need them. They really do. I think it is a fair trade off there. Okay, so Rex has now a, a reasonable, nice sized blob. He's uh, jumping in with the Storm Boys. He teleported with the Big Map, but with the wrong squad, I'd say. I said he probably should have jumped with the Shooter Boys to get more damage done. But he does have the Shooter Boys in a nice space. These Noise Marines will be history if they don't make a move. This unless your Lord detaches. I guess he's going to go for the Big Mech. He's got the Leader Plasma, though. That's going to do some nasty damage. All squads have the leader plasma. Uh, Sinatia Lord not looking so healthy though. Got to get him back. He doesn't want to lose that Sinatia Lord. Manages to save him in time. With the combat drugs of the Noise Marines. He's got a, a pleasure cultist and a fallen missionary with plasma. Again, all, all leader plasma and Empress children is just god tier. It got nerfed, but it's still really good against infantry. It used to shred listening posts like nothing. So, so obscene. <clears throat> Got 
Okay, Rex is going back here. I'd say Rex won that engagement. I'm not actually too sure. I'm not too eager to say. He's definitely not lost. But uh, it looks like Yazoo's tier two. He's got the Rhino out. It's not like Rex can't count on that though. He can get tank busters. Get the Orc gadgets. The big mech gadgets. That's going to be really vital. He's capping with the shooter boys. Big mistake. Got the tank buses out. I'll take care of that right now. He doesn't. He doesn't actually have the gadgets. That's a big mistake. The gadgets are insanely good, man. It provides the big mech with a slight resistance to range damage, but also it allows him to stun vehicles. I'm not sure you want your noise marines to be there. They're trying to focus down this. Uh, this war banner. They may take it, but not without cost. He needs to switch them to the anti vehicle. He needs to do that. Otherwise that that war banner's just not going anywhere. You know, that's a big loss. Okay. Looks like up there we got a Sonic Scorpion. Tank Busters shooting the butt of this Rhino. I think we got the uh, second Slaneshi Lord. Didn't actually see him lose the first one. But it looks like Rex is going to do some damage back. Maybe take this relic off Yazoo. Seems to be the call here. A mess shot with the Sonic Scorpion. Looks like the Rhino's going to come and uh, drop the boys off again. Kill some Storm Boys. He still doesn't have the gadgets. Ah, but he, he's getting the uh oh, he's getting the gadgets now. He's also getting the um the air tower. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see some Daka jets soon. Those are really good. Looks like the Noise Marines are going to melee against uh, everything. They just they shredded. Just absolutely obliterated the Storm Boys in melee. It's ridiculous. Sonic Scorpion coming up, decides not to. Oh, he's unsure. He's going to stay there in the middle. Rax is on taking hold. There goes the Rhino. He needs to go in for the kill on these Noise Marines. It looks like we're going to get some warp talons, though. So these guys, they didn't really get nerfed. They um, used to have three, and now you can only get two. But we, oh, we got some death cops here. These are gnarly. These will shred any infantry that he has. Look at that damage. Some of that's, uh, you know, the, the structures and the shooter boys, but it's mostly the, uh, the death copters. He needs to jump those warp talents. Oh, he's lost. He's lost the whole squad. That is such a shame. He sent... Oh, there's a misclick. Yeah. He needed to jump out that earlier. I don't think he was paying attention. Okay, but we've got some Sonic Hell talents here. He gets a stun on the on the on the Sonic Scorpion. Focuses the Sonic Scorpion with the Tank Busters. The Hell Talon just focusing these Death Copters. These are very weak in terms of health.
He's uh, Storm Boy's not looking so good, losing to melee to the Noise Marines once again. This Sonic Sculpin, uh, Sonic Hell Titan, not looking healthy. I think uh, he's got, uh, yeah, he's got some builders on the Sonic Sculpin, healing it up, which is good. Sonic Sculpin is really important. Messes up infantry really nicely, so uh, yeah, I have to say I always get the Sonic Scorpion. We get some knobs on the way. Fate, uh, you should focus the builders. But he's chased away. It would take him like two seconds to kill those builders. And we got a second Sonic Hell Talon. They will make short work of those death copters there. Got to go for the listening posts. Sonic uh, Scorpion full health kills the builders successfully, but the uh, the Sonic Scorpions is just doing really well at um, keeping his army at bay. Got a second squad of uh, warp talents. Hopefully, he doesn't suicide them like he did the last one. Gets a uh, crack grenade on the war banner. That war banner is probably going to go down. I don't know. He's got knobs and he's got storm boys on them. He needs to. Ah, oh, they just died. They just got absolutely cream pied. That war banner does go down, but I don't think that was a worth trade. It depends on his eco, really. He might have a better eco. Might not give a shit. <clears throat> he needs to finish off these noise marines. They've been alive too long. They need to die. He might finish off one. Oh, he lets it get away. Why? You need to give chase. This is perfect. He must have misclicked. He had to have misclicked that. Yeah, Zoo on the take and hold victory. He sent his whole army to... Yeah, that has to have been a misclick. That's such a shame. Gotta be more careful. You could have really done some damage there. That might have been game winning, honestly. These pleasure cultists messing up these shooter boys down here. More warp talons. Let's see if he doesn't suicide these ones. He might do it. He needs to jump now. It's not worth it. For an LP1, really not worth it. Really not worth the trade. He gets the LP1 and Rax didn't actually cancel the upgrade in time, but... Ah, I just, I don't know. That's really not worth it. More warp talons. Oh no, demonettes. These demonettes are just going to get shredded. No chance. They're good, but not on their own. Not against knobs. We got what seems to be another Rhino. It looks like uh, Yazoo's tier 3, actually. Okay, we got a mech shop finally. Very late for the mech shop. But, uh. Yazoo yeah, really doesn't want Vrax to have this, uh, relic. Orcs have really good relic units. If he ever get, gets those out, that's game. I don't think there's much Yazoo yeah, can do about those. He might take out that Rhino. It might get uh, gets away. 
But the boys jump into the Sonic Scorpion, stuns it. Is he going to go in the melee? He is. He's going to try and just finish off that annoying, pesky Sonic Scorpion. We've got the builders there. There's the Storm Boys jump in. Just trying to aim down that Sonic Scorpion. It might just go down. Let's see. The Hell Talons coming in, just being really annoying. This is what you should do with uh, things like Hell Talons. When your opponent's distracted with uh, your main army, just send the Hell Talons into his base. Kill LPs, kill Gens. He's got the Tank Busters in the back and he's got a War Track. He's not really doing anything though. He loses one Sonic Hell Talon. Big deal. And he's forced back. He didn't. They, he didn't actually manage to kill that Sonic Scorpion. The Sonic Predators out. Oh, okay. Big damage coming his way. Again, these uh, got one taken away, but other than that, not much was changed. They are still insanely god tier. Storm boys jumping in, saying hi to these uh, noise marines. Can he finish off the rhino? No, the rhino is too far away. That Sonic Scorpion just saved it in time. That's a whole squad of Storm boys dead. He's focusing the predator. I understand, but that. Scorpion's been a real problem for you the whole game. But that Predator does go down. We've got another Sonic Predator here. Just bashing his base. We've got a Xiphon Interceptor. Those are gnarly as well. We've got a Daka Jet. My favourite kind of jet. It's going to finish off that Interceptor. So good, man. These these kill everything. Pretty much. That Sonic Scorpion is going to get it if he doesn't run back with it. Tank Busters are just amazing. Uh, at some point he lost his big mech. I can't... Yeah. That's a bit of a loss. That's a big loss. <laughs> no pun intended. Looks like we've got a Sineshi Saucer on, on there. More Noise Marines. Or oh, are those Chosen? They might be Chosen. We've got a Dagger Jet hammering away at this listening post. He, has, he needs to get more Dagger Jets. Dagger Jets will be the ones to uh, the bring Vrax back in the game. Yeah, these are chosen. Yeah, they are nothing to laugh at. I don't know why he's running away, though. He doesn't have any anti-vehicle weapons on his chosen yet. We've got a Vindicator, is that? That's a Vindicator. That's going to do some nasty business. These knobs are just getting shot at. Likely go down. Vindicator just passes through the tank busters, getting shot in the ass. Getting shot in the bunda. Will these tank busters, uh, tank busters finish it off? No. Does manage to get the shot off. These tank busters got to go away. There's pretty much all that Rex has right now. Doesn't have much else. It's not looking good for Rex at the minute. Still got the Daka jet though. He will finish off that Vindicator. Yeah, there's the anti-vehicle weapons on the Chosen now. Sineshi Lord in the mix. Sineshi Sork in the mix. We've got the big mech back. We've got Sir... Oh, Phoenix Guard Terminators. Okay. This is looking awfully... Look, I like, like GG here. Wow. 
Another Sonic bread. Looks like the Big Mac jumps in with a squad of, uh, I'm guessing, knobs. They're going to get minced, though, with all this range. Da he needs more Daka Jets. You need more than one. That Predator is just going to mince that, uh... Yeah, it's not, it's not looking healthy. But the Daka Jets are doing really good work on those Terminators. You had more, you wipe out wipe out the whole squad. Is that a second? Oh. Yeah, this is GG. Rax just doesn't really have anything to hold this off. A shame. He did so well. It was a very good game. But it's like I said, the noise, um, Emperor's Children is just very anti-Orcs. Orcs doesn't have too much to deal with. If he managed to get to his relic units, it would have been over for Yazoo. Yazoo wouldn't have been able to do much. If he got the Stumper and his Gargan out, yeah. If he got more Daka Jets, that would have been awesome. But No, that's it. GG's called. And game is won. The best three won by Yazoo. Very well played by both players. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do my cast like this now. Because I don't know when I'll get a chance to do um, any more. So, I figured if I do three games, two games out of three, whoever wins, uh, you know, will get a... Uh, get their name said well uh, on my channel so that's that I don't want to do individual games because then I wouldn't get as much content done as I would like and I want to do more content but it's very hard with my new schedule of life but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this awesome cast of games I certainly did and I will see you the next time